Oh, what, which part? What did you say? I, I asked Bill which part he's going to, or parts. I'm sorry. What parts are you going oh, to? Oh, uh, just the Republic, not Northern Ireland, uh, but Dublin, and then over to Galway on the west and down the west coast, essentially. Wow. So, uh, a, a big round circle, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, looking forward to it. What, by yourselves or with other people? It's on a tour. It's a tour. Yeah. Oh, nice. Great. Well, I hope you have a great time. Yeah. How you could not have a good time in Ireland, <laughs> I don't know. But I, I was there for five days in 1986. And I hope <laughs> I've always wanted to go back. I, I was obviously very young back then <clears throat> and had a great time, but I've, I've yet to get back and I really, it's, it's very high on my bucket list. Yeah. You know, I've, uh, I've been to China and Tibet twice, but never to England or Europe. <laughs> but Ireland and Scotland are on the top of my list. <laughs> yeah. But I, I have a feeling I may not make it, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, as as I have uh, sometimes in the past quoted a, a um, Bagua teacher to his student, why are you in such a rush? You can't possibly learn everything you need to know in one lifetime. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so next lifetime is Ireland. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, questions? Requests? Anything you don't understand or do understand? <laughs> <laughs> what did we do last time? What did we do? Yeah, what did we cover last time? What do we emphasize? Well, I was emphasizing elbows and Extending in and out. Lengthening, yes. No. Yes. Good. So how's that going? Some improvement. You know, in terms of feeling more energy, at least through my hand, if nothing else, while doing it. You know, mm -hmm. so I know I'm on the right track, but just need more practice for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you've been busy showing your house. <laughs> uh, we had one Saturday and we had a surprise one yesterday that we only had about three hours notice on. Uh, so we, uh, we are getting some, but we haven't had any offers yet. Ah, uh, well, early days. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Uh, not much this week. Uh, but uh, I did do the dynamic sphere uh, uh, as much as, as I could and uh, the spine stretch, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, those I can tuck into less time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tuck bits of the form into less time too. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I tried <it> <laughs> So, um, can certainly uh, continue working on that. Um, getting that release throughout the entire body is obviously really important eventually. Um, so um, that's that is something to certainly keep um, keep keep happening as much as it can. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit this week about um, 
and, and take us into a little bit of practice of using our intent to move our energy. Or better for me to say using our intent to feel the movement of our energy and to, to make it possible, to make that possible. Um, so it is really essential that you really are able to um, get your mind to extend through your body and to be able to feel what's going on inside your body. Because if you can't do that, then you can't feel what your intent is encouraging the energy or whatever the movement is um, that you're feeling um, to, to happen. So one of the things about using the intent is it not only moves energy, but it releases nerves too. And so um, mind intent is always an, a, a really important element in what you're doing. And as you already know, I think, because obviously that has to be present uh, in really all the other movements that we're doing. But when we begin to try to be aware of the flow of the energy, um, it, it becomes even more important. Because if your intent is not clearly focused on where you want to feel that flow of the energy, then it's almost impossible. So um, clearly um, feeling the energy at least is, is a, a critical stage of development in Tai Chi. So it's David, all, all mind intent must precede all movement, right? Wuji to Tai Chi. Yeah. Okay. And, and indeed, um, you, you can, um, I'm not going to actually do this today. Oh, well, we might a little bit later, but not the uh, first thing, but, um, what Jeff's referring to, Wu Chi to Tai Chi, which I think you're familiar with, but what that's suggesting is that when you start any practice, whether it's Qigong or Tai Chi, um, you start from allowing yourself to become as still as you possibly can and focusing your mind intent <laughs> being aware of your mind intent right. um, and recognizing when you are moved, not when you decide you'll move. Uh, that's very different, right. very different. Um, and sometimes you'll stand a long time, sometimes you'll only stand a moment. Um, but if you really play with that some, it's a very interesting thing to, to recognize, A, how difficult it is to be, uh, get yourself to become completely still or as still as possible, mm. and therefore open to something moving you. That, of course, can open a whole um, philosophical discussion about what is it that's moving you. Right. <laughs> but um, I think the way my, I, my feeling about the way to think about that is that we are all a part of the universe, the entire universe. And so there are many energies moving throughout the entire universe. And I think it's as hard as anything else we do to just tr really get to a point where we can let go of everything 
and start to experience that and allow ourselves to be moved by that. I know, I mean, yep. there are times when I'm on the, on the precipice of being able to really start to feel that. And then the other days, I just really can't stop my mind enough to get to that point. Yep. Um, so you're, you're actually human. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Um, I, I think we could all say that, Jeff. <laughs> no, no question. Right. So um, let's do a little um, mind intent, um, being aware of the movement of the energy practice, and we might, and we'll take it into the eight gates. I. don't know that I'm going to suggest that that you start with trying to feel it in the, the form. You can in the Tai Chi form, but because of the irregularity of the changes, un, unlike the eight gates where it, it's, it's a regular rhythm related to your breath, uh, obviously any Tai Chi form um, is not <laughs> and therefore it becomes much more difficult um, to to include that so right. it's it's helpful to practice it in something like the eight gates or the dynamic sphere um, dynamic sphere is another excellent place to to work with it um, and then to when you're comfortable with that begin to take it into the form um, and just working on small parts of the form at a time when you do it because it could be overwhelming um, to think about the entire form mm. even though we're doing a short one just think if you were doing the 108 posture <laughs> right. so any questions first Okay, then so you've done some of this before, uh, Bill. But you may not remember. I said you've done some of this before, but you may not remember. <laughs> it's been a long time, actually, probably two years ago. <laughs> so, um, what I want you to do um, is just to bring your arms up um, out in front of you, the elbows bent, and you're not going to move the arms. What I want you to do is to, to be, try to be aware of extending your mind through your body and beginning to just feel what's happening inside your body. And the first thing is just to see if you can use your mind intent and feel your energy moving from your spine through your shoulder and down to your fingertips and back to the spine. So just using your mind intent, focus on moving down to your fingers and back to your spine. And just feeling that flow. then because the crook of the elbow is a very 
difficult area to be aware of. See if you can feel the energy move from your spine to your, the crook of your elbow and back to your spine. Just very deliberately using your intent, feeling that chi moving from the spine to the crook of the elbow and back. And be very aware of that crook of the elbow. And then the next step is to feel the energy move through the center of your elbow. So just see if you can feel that using your mind intent and not being solely focused on chi, but aware that intent also activates nerves. So there is some response in the nervous system to intent as well. Make sure you keep the elbows pointing downward. And now, using your intent, feel that movement from the spine through the shoulder through the middle and crook of the elbow and down to the fingertips. And back in. All the way to the spine. Relax your arms for a moment. They might be getting a little tired. So that's just using your intent. Now, obviously in our movements, we also have the bending and extending as well. And so we can use that intent to extend through as we move and extend and draw it back from the fingertips through the elbows and shoulder to the spine and out. So keep the elbows fixed in place and pointing downward. And just bend at the elbows at the moment. Although you should have some sense of the bending in the fingers and the wrist as well. Getting that energy to flow all the way to the fingertips and all the way back to the spine. So, could you get some sense of that? Yes. Toughest through the elbows, but... What? Tough, uh, hardest through the elbows. It is hard through the elbows, yeah. yeah. Actually, I think 
I felt more in the center of the elbow than in the crook of the elbow, <laughs> but you know. Uh, and that's actually that's absolutely the way it usually is. Uh, and I'm not sure why that is, but the surface of the crook of the elbow is is much more difficult to feel. And as you as you begin to focus uh, a little bit later on the yin and yang surfaces, um, that becomes really important. Mm -hmm. Jeff? Um, uh, when, when I'm feeling it going through my elbow, I'm feeling it on the outside right now. Uh, on the yang side? And Yeah, and through the out, you know, through this part of the elbow, not the inside, but through this, you know, this part. Yeah, I was uh, saying to Jeff that's completely normal uh, because the, for whatever reason, and I don't know the spe specific reason other than the fact, of course, it's the yin surface, but right. the surface of the crook of the elbow is much more difficult to feel the flow of the energy than it is through the middle of the elbow or the yang side. Yeah. I would say when I was feeling it during that exercise, it was almost all on the yon side and a little bit through the middle, but not at all through the interior in, in part. Yeah, that's pretty normal. <laughs> but you want to work as, as you do um, that exercise, you're, you want to work on opening up the yin side because that we need to feel both. <laughs> right, right. Okay. And it is moving through both. Okay. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> so um, let's let's uh, go into the eight gates, and um, I'm not going to talk all the way through it. But um, let me just before we begin say that um, as as you begin that it's coming from the fingertips into the spine and from the spine out to the fingertips and back through the elbow shoulders to the spine and out and so that awareness uh, in each of the yin yang parts of those movements, um, that's the movement we are endeavoring to intend to happen um, as we do it. So it's a, a constant flow. Okay. Um, and it's a yeah. flow in both directions, obviously. Actually, but both we're are intending to, to be more aware, aware of one of them. the directional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There are, you, you're absolutely right. It's always flowing in both directions. Right. It doesn't only flow in one, and it is um, just as I. I've talked with Bill, but I'm not sure that I've I've talked this way uh, to you, Jeff. Um, you, you may feel it when you begin um, as, as uh, uh, with Bruce's image of the um, pool ball, uh, that, that uh, you feel it from the spine to the shoulder to the elbow to the wrist to the fingertips and, and back through each of those. But obviously, ultimately, it's a flow. It's the whole thing. It's not just boom, 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 but that's an easier way to be become aware of it. So um, if you feel it as a flow all the way through, that's great. Um, and Bill has done some work with this previously in the other class, so um, that's that's possible that he might. Right. Okay. Possible. <laughs> possible. Okay. He says it's possible. 
I don't know for sure about you, Jeff. <laughs> okay. So, um, really trying to focus your mind intent on feeling this flow. So stepping out. Taking that time to just stand for a minute. Begin to be aware of your structure and your breathing. Letting go of any unnecessary tension. It's always starting with letting energy sink through your body. Just feeling that downward flow. And then Extending your mind through your body. Really beginning to feel inside your body. And flowing into the eight gates. Drawing in from fingertips to spine and out to the fingertips and into the spine and out to the fingertips.
obviously you can play with reverse breathing. Sorry. Obviously you can play with reverse breathing and, yeah. <laughs> and the five points. <laughs> in case you in case you need more. Yeah. It's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. remarks, questions? What did you mean about playing with reverse breathing? <laughs> I meant that for Bill, not for you. <laughs> I know, I've done it in the past, so now I'm curious. Um, what I taught in the past in reverse breathing was not accurate. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. Now I'm even more interested. <laughs> <laughs> we can save that for another day if you want. I was just curious. Yeah, we probably should. All right. All right. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be glad to share it with you. Uh, just, just an FYI, I do like to sometimes, whatever we're doing, whether it's the form, this or whatever, I do sometimes use my Don TN to try and pump a little bit and see what happens. Mm -hmm. kind of well, it's, it is... <laughs> Now that I have learned a little more, right. <laughs> it is, um, that's not reverse breathing. Right. <laughs> that That is moving the Dantian in the opposite direction, yes, but it's not reverse breathing. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, Bill in his other class uh, has worked on that. That's why I mentioned it. Right. No, I understand. Yeah. I didn't know there was changes over the years since I had learned it. So. Oh. <laughs> there <laughs> are there changes every day. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm a student of Master Joe's. Go on. That's true. I guess didn't, I I ever, didn't I ever tell you... Um, when I took the class learning the Yang Long form from Master Joe, the first day uh, at the lunch break, I'm I'm outside madly practicing, um, and a couple of of his older students who've been around a while came up to me and said, "Don't bother to practice too hard because he probably will have changed it by this afternoon." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, yes. I remember lots of that over the years, David, too, especially when, you know, we were learning something and then you would talk to Jay about it and you'd have some more changes and, you you know, oh, it, yeah. lots of that over the years. Um, and, and as I have grown myself, I, I learn more. I mean, right. it's just um, interesting. <laughs> Anyway, you have all these different influences, and that that changes your path on all these things as well. And so we're, we're grand students of Master Joe and all these other guys. Yep. Um, so, um, any other questions or thoughts here on this at the moment? Okay. So. Uh, I, I, I think what I'd like is to see each of you do the form separately. And um, I am, I'm, I'll say, I think what I would like to see is the consistency of bending and extending, which should be constant. <laughs> Um, so, um, do, doing a flow where you're um, trying to be aware of that. And since Jeff always starts, why doesn't Bill start today? <laughs> I heard that coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs>
what happens when you're dead tired. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. I did, lost it. Yeah. Uh, it's high pat. myself so <laughs> this is not a good combination <laughs> okay you want to stop there yeah okay sorry that's all right yeah. sit down rest um so I think that would be certainly a good element for you to to work on, um, because um, many of your postures come to a stop and then go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> you didn't have the benefit of Master Joe <laughs> repeatedly in the middle of flows in class saying, "Round your corners." <laughs> <laughs> which he did a lot because that is how you make those connections um, because, because if you if you get to here and you stop and then you go to something else the energy yeah. pauses interrupts it doesn't, probably doesn't pause is probably not accurate but it interrupts um, so that would be a really good um, piece, I think, for you to work on um, in that. The other thing, also remember, don't let yourself shift back on uh, focus, follow on focus. Okay. Um, when you go on to that uh, for yeah. forward foot, stay on the forward foot. The rear foot is only a support, not a weight-bearing foot. So, so a, a lot of good things too. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, you. Um, I realize you're having a tough day today, but um, uh, if you think back to when we started this class, uh, <laughs> you. You have clearly made considerable progress. Yeah. One thing I noticed, David, and I couldn't see everything that Bill was doing because sometimes he was on the screen, sometimes off for me. But yeah. it seemed like Bill, it seemed like your pace was a little bit slower and more steady than usual. Yeah. That's which true. I thought was a good thing. Yep. Just gotta get, try to get the pauses out. Yeah. <laughs> It's, you know, it's really difficult to get that consistency of, because um, it's not, <laughs> every movement isn't the same length. <laughs> um, it, it's constantly changing, and so. Um, well, I have been trying to slow it up. Uh, oh, that's good. So, um, and I, <laughs> I think partly what happens is that in the slowness I get to hear and then as you say, I, I, I feel myself, you know, in retrospect, feel myself stopping. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not sure why, you know, but, <laughs> you know, maybe I can make a little audio recording of saying round the course <laughs> <laughs> and play it well. <laughs> In, <laughs> in, indeed. <laughs> would you like to flow, Jeff? Yes, I would like to flow. <laughs> and I will try and round my coin.
<laughs> yeah, his connection is. Oh. You want to say anything? <laughs> no, not after my performance. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. Um, that was pretty good, Jeff. <coughs> the, I liked your pace. Um, I think you can still work on not extending so much. Yeah. <laughs> I notice that a lot in my follow and focus, especially. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're, and, and remember that follow and focus is um, really at, at upper chest height. Yeah, I was too high. Yeah, you tend to get a little high with it. Yeah, I do. Um, your balance is, is good. <laughs> um, Bill and I, Bill and I would like your balance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Would you start to say? I was going to say, what, what did you think about wave hands? What, what any, any uh, thoughts on that? Um, it seemed pretty good. Um, um, as much as I could see here. 
Okay. It felt like sometimes I was leading. I, I kept kind of going in and out of leading with my hand versus. Extending. Yeah. It, that's easy to do with that because. Yeah. Well, it's easy to do it all the way through. <laughs> um, so related to that uh, tendency to to be extended too much, um, I would play with trying to see how how small you can make the bend and and extend mm -hmm. and and not and not lose any of it right um you might remember or maybe not uh, but master joe used to talk about um how our practice should be ultimately working at two extremes one going um, as quickly as possible and the other as slow as possible and the one as large as possible and one as small as possible. Right. Um, but the, the qualification is always without losing any detail, um, which, which limits <laughs> what we can do. Um, but I just think that that you might benefit, particularly in this form, from um, really letting yourself make things smaller. Right. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely. And that's a really good reminder because I'm. I'm so focused on, you know, the bending and extending and all of that that I'm doing it really large so that I know that I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and it doesn't have to be that large. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a good thing for me to focus on though. Um, and of course it's different in different places. Um, right. um, in grasping sparrow's tail, Pung is going to be larger than G. Uh, just no way that, uh, that, but we sometimes have a tendency even with G to want to get it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it doesn't need to be, it might, it might just be there. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think in focusing now more so on my elbows and, and going back to the scapular spine, I'm thinking bigger than I was when I was incorrectly focusing too much on my hands, which I was making it smaller than. So I've got to, yeah, kind of based on that. Yep. So I think that'd be good to to work on. Right. Um, so we've all got things to work on. <laughs> um, so um, I hope you have a great trip. Uh, thank you. That I'm, I'm a little bit envious. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go with you. <laughs> Uh, Jane wants to go too, so yeah. <laughs> the party's getting bigger. <laughs> but they don't have any single supplement, so they yeah. have it. <laughs> well, I hope you have a great time. Thank you. I look forward to hearing about it when yep. you get back. And uh, hope you get hope you get it off for this week. Hope so, David. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's awful to do all that preparation and then to have to wait <laughs> and exactly this... we, we got it into perfect selling condition uh to get it on the market and now trying to do the little thing to keep it as perfect as possible even though it's three weeks later now you know it's yeah we get the call we're you're gonna have a showing in three hours we kind of drop everything we're doing and we do two hours of you know i do the front lawn again and, and kate goes out back and and get the pool area all all <laughs> so and you know it's yeah the, the sooner we can sell it the better <laughs> yep <laughs> that's just the way it is yeah i know i know well good luck all right thank you take yep. care yeah take care bill have a great time look forward to hearing about thank it thank you thank you
I'm going for one week, two weeks, three weeks. Okay. How, how many weeks are you going for? Uh, two. Two weeks. Nice. Yeah. Thirteen right. days. <laughs> that should be fun. Yeah. yeah. Do you fly straight into Ireland or do you? Yes. Oh. You know, this is uh, Logan to Dublin. Logan to Dublin. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, take care. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you next week, David. Okay. See you next week. You can have a private lesson next week. Okay. Yep. Sounds and good. I'll try and come loaded with a few questions. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love questions, as you know. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, buddy. Take care.